Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight and happy almost June. I cannot believe it's almost June, even though this year has been crazy, I feel like it was just 2020, like 2020 just started. I have no idea how it's already June. But anyways, because it is so nice out, the weather is finally starting to turn around and be beautiful up here in Massachusetts, I wanted to go ahead and share another fun outdoor game that you can make academic. If you were following me at all last year, then you can go ahead, I'll actually link up here. I did a whole outdoor game series where I shared a bunch of fun outdoor games with chalk and just different things that you have either in your backyard or using concrete, a driveway, anything like that. So I will link that up there and I'll also put a link in the description in case you wanna check out that playlist. Today's game is a simple one to practice a couple different math activities and it is called Roll to Win. Let's see how to play. Now I'm gonna go ahead and share some videos and pictures of my boys playing this game, but I wanna tell you it was actually really windy. It didn't, it didn't look that windy when I looked out the window, but it happened to be a pretty windy day. So we actually just moved this game indoors, which shows that you can go ahead and actually play it outside or inside, depending on the weather. To set up this game, you're just going to need any sort of, I used construction paper, you can use paper plates, anything you want. You'll want about eight to 10 of them and you will want them to have different numbers on them. Now, because I was playing with my sons, Theo is five and a half, he's going into kindergarten and Calvin is only four. So I did put dots underneath. So if you have a child or a student that is working on um, early numeracy, you might want to go ahead and add the dots for them there. You'll also go ahead and see in the picture that I had to put little dinosaurs down on them just to keep them from blowing away because it was a very windy day. Other than your number cards or plates or whatever you're gonna use, you are just going to need some sort of ball that is going to roll because the game is called Roll to Win. And what you will do to play is you will have your kids stand behind a line of some kind to start. They each get three different rolls. So they will go ahead and roll the ball and whatever number cards, papers, paper plates, whatever, whatever they roll over, they get to keep. So they will actually, once they roll over it, they go over, for my kids that put the dinosaur away, and hold this until the end. And every time they would roll over one of these pages, they got to collect it. Now after their three rolls, they would go ahead and add up their numbers to see who had the higher sum, whoever collected the most dots, like I told my four-year-old. And so just to make clear, they only get three rolls. So if they roll a ball too far or they roll it too close and it doesn't actually hit any paper at all, that still is one of their rolls. And so even though they would start behind that line, that was their roll number one, their second roll would, they could stand wherever their ball was left. So they start from there. So they get three different rolls. If they happen to miss a piece of paper or if they happen to roll it too far, whatever, if they don't hit paper, it's kind of like a skip turn, right? They don't collect anything and they don't get to add it to their total. Now, I like this game for a few different reasons. First, you know, the first time they played and they were standing outside and it was really windy, they just stood at that stick, the first line, and they just kind of threw the ball out, right? They didn't really think too much about it. But even still, they had to kind of recognize, depending on the weight of the ball, how, how much force they had to put behind their roll for each one. So my son Theo, the first time he rolled it, it barely went anywhere. So he kind of wasted a roll there. But because it's just three rolls, it moves pretty quickly. So I like it because it's fast paced. I like it because kids are out, they're moving, they're having fun. But another reason I liked it is because when we played that second time, my boys started to realize, hey, wait a second because my son Theo, he collected two numbers and the first time and Calvin only collected one, but Theo had collected a two and a one and found out that he only got three and Calvin, all he had done was hit a five. So he counted up and he had one. And so the second time they played, they really tried to look all over the all over the yard outside and see where were those higher numbers. Do I want to try to collect two closer or do I want to try to roll it over there? So they're already comparing numbers and deciding where they want to roll the balls, which I thought was great mathematical thinking. Another reason I like this game is because it is really easy to differentiate. Again, I was playing with my four and five year olds, so I did basic addition. The highest number on here was a six and they all had dots. You definitely don't need to add any visual dots on there. You could have students multiply if they were in older grades, 
If I was doing this with my first grade classroom and we were outside, what I would do is some of these cards, I'd place them strategically near some of the larger ones, but let's say this was a 10, I might have on some of the cards minus three. So then once they collect all their papers at the end, they have to actually not only add, but subtract out some of those numbers as well. So that is how you play a roll to win. It is just a fun and simple game that you can go ahead and differentiate in a ton of different ways. And like I said, it was really windy outside when I played, but you could easily take this indoors as well. You just don't wanna play with this, this heavy croquet ball. And I know I mentioned this earlier in the video, but if you wanna see some other outdoor games, just go ahead and click the playlist down in my description. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did so I know. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new week's video. Talk soon, bye.